do you think that the federal government will appeal to the youth cry or do you think that they will just neglect what we are saying hello guys welcome back to my channel once again so this video is about answers brutality in nigeria so if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up then drop your comment down below hey 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 yes we all know what have been going on in nigeria nationwide that the youths with the youths are no longer comfortable with how the SARS and police force mishandle us especially with the youths like gender is not as in, they don't even care whether you are a lady whether you are a fat it's more as nehana ake focus on the guys but we the youth have woken up to reality and to understand that the nigerian federal government or the federal government doesn't care about the youth as a whole except those that are related to them this video is about and sad brutality do you think that the federal government will appeal to the youth cry or do you think that they will just neglect what we are saying in a recent video i saw where the igp just maneuver and i don't know but changed the name from stars to something else here is what he changed it with so i don't know if he is thinking that we the youth doesn't understand or doesn't know what they just did because i know that it will be hard for them to you know to just end stars just like that because of the salary scale the employment the services that have been they have been providing for us but this answers protest is kind of a controversial situation because basically some parts of the note here are saying don't end SARS because they reduce uh, kidnapping they provide security for them and setting things SARS perform more of the entities in the north compared in this our side because recently uh, i think last Last week, SARS killed one guy. So, that's why some of you decided to speak up against SARS brutality. Some people die. Me, yeah, if we are going out hmm, or if we are traveling, and I will call you to make sure that you are with your ID card. If not, you will ask you to go back and look at your ID card and you are not going anywhere. <laughs> but sometimes even if you have your ID card you must drop something for them so it's kind of bad and some of us don't and some of us don't know that Nigerian police force have low salary skill it's not like you saw this has this pattern as in a bit in a wee way and no wonder they, they, they have an extorting money from from the citizens so my own is that is either the government increase their salary give them orientation that life matters a lot it's not it's not it's not about like changing the name or or or, or deploying them no it's not about that it's about giving them the orientation that give them the tactics most of our nigerians most of the nigerian youth most of them are police forces outside the countries they can equally help us to reform police force and honestly i'm telling you the honest truth traffic bp niger last year said that she will volunteer herself to help reform police force with the knowledge that she have experience in the uk so that, that kind of 
that kind of service will help us to achieve more than we think that we can achieve and also for this protest i like the fact that more celebrities came out to participate in this protest lending us their voice lending us their who they are in the society and telling us that together we are in this like i was watching the video and online and it was like sort of kind of as in the team they knew i don't know how to explain it's in the joy like it gives joy seeing that we the youth are one no matter what okay see what happened in portacot here yesterday we go with the bamboo we love a video we love a video see them for front to me at their back oh but watch my back we came and the protest all river state but what happened no killing, nothing of that in River State. To show you that if you feel me the stubborn, we the youth are more stubborn than you. I'm not encouraging stubbornness, I'm not encouraging people can pick this is volume than I'm not encouraging stubbornness, I'm not encouraging any stuff of that. But what I'm saying is, give us what we want. Like now, I'm at home, some people are enjoying life, some are not enjoying Like all these things now, what's the name the way? No school. School system, I do go very weak. Let me put it that way. Employment, no, 0%. The more I go, the more new graduates now after. The more or rather hope making people people must survive either they join yahoo or they join prostitution or they join kidnapping gang or they join criminal gang so without employment like nigeria i god god eh, try power let me be honest with you guys buhari are not trying at all all the all the indian men what they what they think about is their pocket they don't even speak for us at all. Buhari, if you want your country to move forward, start from yourself, start cutting your salary, start cutting the senator salary, start cutting House of Assembly salary. Most of them, if you are a meeting now, national TV, you are like a Arab. What are you contributing them? Nothing. Basically nothing. I'm going to contribute. At the end of the month, we will get, we will go nyege. Ni police force, and now we have less. Then now half ni rogo. I just check a beggy. Half ni rogo, and now we are thirty thousand naira. If it's you, how will it? And I go and just see what they say. Two grand naira. You have not got that one. You can't master. What I know is that my children are not in this country. They are outside the country schooling. It's not. It's not good. I don't know. So the way things are moving, the way it is. And right now, I think that and other countries are now putting more. Like I saw it in you in CNN, I was like, wow, wow. Like technology is kind of good and also bad. But I just pray that these people will listen to us and just end SARS brutality. So have you experienced SARS brutality before? Me, I have not, to, and I'm not even praying to experience it because he had the home. Have you experienced that brutality before? Or do you know anyone that have experienced it before? Please, I want you to drop your comment down below this video to tell us how you feel about this whole situation. If it's good, if it's not. For me, I like the fact that we, the youth, came out as one voice to protest. See you guys next time. Peace out.